Hey everyone, it's Ben at Fright Rags. Uh, I was just working on the new vintage shirt site and I thought, you know what? I've been getting so many questions lately about when's it coming back, you know, what's going on with it, are you guys even working on it? There's a lot of speculation on what's happening to our vintage stuff and uh, in fact some people are actually really pissed that it's not up yet, which believe me, I'm the first person, you know, that will tell you that I want this up more than anybody in the world. This has been really, uh, this has taken us a really long time to get together. The thing is, I didn't want to promise you a site and say, hey, it's going to come in January of 2012, and then January comes around and it's not here. And then, hey, it's going to come in March, and then it's not here. And then the summer, you know, I didn't want to keep giving you dates and, and lead you on thinking it's going to be one date, and then we, you know, get there and it's not working. So that's why I've been sort of silent about actual dates and things. Well, the good news is that we are getting really, really close at this point. The site is up finally. Um, it's actually operational. It's in testing mode right now. Um, I've been constantly in contact with our fulfillment company who will be handling all the shirts. Um, and we've just been kind of working out all the kinks with the order processing and everything. The fact of the matter is when we push this live, I, the last thing I want is for you to order shirts and then not get them right or have it be, you know, uh, wrong order received or never received or not shipped out. You know, our commitment to making you guys happy is what's, you know, what's driving us to just make sure this is right. Now, so what I thought I'd do today is I'd actually show you the site. I'm just going to, I'm literally just sitting here actually working on it right now. And um, I wanted to bring it up for you guys and show it to you, show you that it does exist, that it's actually here. Um, kind of just take the camera and show you what it looks like, what it's going to, you know, feature. Um, but to give you a little bit of background, this is a whole new site. It's a brand new website. It's a brand new name, completely separate from Fright Rags. Yes, it's still owned by Fright Rags, but... What this will do is allow us to, you know, still offer the vintage shirts like we did on Fright Rags. But the reason why we had to switch is because our fulfillment company we were using, they weren't keeping up with our orders. They weren't keeping up with the volume of orders that we were giving them, and they would get behind. And then we had customers, instead of waiting four weeks, they are waiting six weeks, eight weeks. And that's not acceptable. We will not have that. And in fact, about a year ago, last August, that's when we shut off the vintage uh, shirt section on Fright Rags. That was a hard decision to make because that amounted to quite a bit of our revenue. So we had to find a better solution. And until we did that, we had to cut it off because we could not keep customers waiting on stuff. So anyway, uh, we had been talking to a fulfillment company actually prior to that, and our talks got a lot more serious once this all went down in August, and I decided that we needed a better solution, and part of that solution was to have a company that could not only print, but ship for us as well. And the reason is, is because before, we would take the orders in, and then we would have to buy the blank shirts and send them to a printer and then send the orders to a printer once a week and then they would have to print the shirts and then they'd have to ship them all the way back to us and we'd have to pack the orders and send them out. That's why it was taking four weeks. And I understand customers were, were extremely lenient and I appreciate that, um, but what if we could get them out in four days or three days or five days, you know? Um, what if the system was a bit more efficient and more seamless uh, for you, the customer, and even for us. So we started looking into better solutions for that, and we did find a company that actually, I, I have literally been talking to them for about five years now, but um, more so in the last two years with the vintage stuff, and then of course in the past year, really seriously about actually working with them on the vintage stuff. And they're a great company to work with uh, so far, and they were more than happy to just sort of work with us and try to figure out how we can make this work. They do this type of thing all the time. Uh, think of it like our own personal Cafe Press or Zazzle, but better in the sense that we're working directly with them in the images and how they are printed uh, instead of just sort of sending off, you know, images to some nameless company that's handling it for us. And like I said, they can actually handle all of this in-house where they can get the blank shirts and, and get the printing done and package it right there and send it. And it's actually a central location in, in the United States, so shipping time should be uh, pretty similar throughout the, the 48 states at least. So I'm really excited about that. But in order to do that, we had to 
break it off of Fright Rags and, and make it its own thing, its own entity, and that would work with their back-end system and all of those things, and I could nerd out about that for the next 20 minutes, but I won't. Uh, I just wanted to explain why it has to be separate, and now we can focus Fright Rags on what we do best, and kick-ass horror shirts, and now we have Chopping Mall that we can focus on the cool vintage stuff, which we have a crap ton of ideas for, uh, but we just need to get this part up and running. So without further ado, I'm going to grab the camera, and I'm just going to show you on my screen here. It's live on the screen. I'm just going to kind of click through a few things, show you really quickly what it's going to look like, and and prove to you that it is in the works. I promise, it's in the works. It's coming. I know some of you are really pissed off at me uh, for not having it up, and I'm sorry, but uh, we have been really, really hard at work in this. So anyway, I'm going to grab the camera. Okay. There it is. I'm going to have to come back here a little bit because it's can't zoom in on this camera too much, but as you can see, I think I've already noticed, showed you guys this before, but it is called Chopping Mall. That is the site. And here it is. And as you scroll down, got a little newsletter sign up there. I'm fixing that text, don't worry. So it's not your eyes that are bothering you. It's actually like Latin text that you used as filler, but that's getting fixed. Uh, so let's click on a design. Ooh, pretty. See? Ooh, look at that. Check that out. So as you scroll over the actual color options, it will change for you. And you can choose one. Takes a second. Choose a size. Add it to your cart. Look at that. Let's take a look at uh, one of the categories here and all the designs. We've got a bunch of designs in here. These are just the view all, so these are all of them in alphabetical order. A uh, few things have changed. As of right now, we do not have girl shirts on the site or long sleeve. That's just something that was going to take a lot longer for us to do, and quite frankly, I wanted to launch and get this up and running before we invested the time and money to get those on the site. So I can say that they will probably be coming. Um, I don't know when, but I really just wanted to get the shirts up online for everybody to see in order um, as soon as we could. So we just, you know, spent the majority of our time just doing the regular t-shirts. Um, as for colors and things, as you just saw, there's a few different colors. We, we no longer have white at the, um, at the moment, but again, things may or may not be able to be added later. I'm not sure yet. Uh, we have added a couple different colors, like the orange, um, and I think... We had chocolate before and the smoke colors. So some of them are the same, some of them are a little bit different. Oh, and I do want to tell you that um, you may have noticed the price going up a little bit, but uh, part of that is because of the uh, cost of ink that has gone up in the last year. But I'll tell you that our shirts are now being printed on these super soft shirts that we use for our Fright Rag shirts, and it yields a way better print. So... Um, even though they're a couple bucks more than they used to be, you're getting a much higher quality garment. And uh, so all of our shirts are being printed on the really nice soft cotton that you're used to with Fright Rag shirts. So that's about it at, at the moment. I mean, you know, I can go through all the different, you know, different categories and things and uh, all that other stuff. But that's pretty much what you can expect when you get to Chopping Mall. Um, I'm really excited about it. I'm, like I said, we've been working really hard at this, and I can't wait to get it online. As for a time frame, um, I don't want to lead you guys on and say, "Hey, it's going to be next week or in two weeks." But you know, I'd like to say within a month we'll be we'll be launching it. So uh, a few things to figure out. I'll try to keep you guys as updated as possible. But again, the reason for this video is just to sort of show you, hey, you know, I wasn't lying when I said it's coming. So I will. Uh, See you guys soon and hope you enjoyed this. Thanks.